spring chicken. We have so many exciting things coming to you, especially when it comes to the travel suite. Now well, the travel suite, okay, now this is not all about the travel suite, but it, let me just tell you, it has been receiving a lot of attention lately. We're very, very happy, but it's really becoming the go-to destination when it comes to travel for the entertainment industry. Yes, travel like where they need to go, where they need to film, but of course we have, we're in preparation for it, the Academy Awards, and of course you're just going to have to go to the travelsuite.com. We've got a video over there and you're going to have to find out all about it there. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> And it's all over for the Republicans. You would think it, that they've got the Republicans massively on the run. They're on their heels. Obama threatened them yesterday. You'll, you know, you'll do what I want with immigration reform. If you don't do it, I'm going to send the bill up, but I'll probably do it by executive order. Basically, all he did was pissed off a lot of people. Then he has Colin Powell go on the, uh, the Bill O'Reilly show and explain how you know, he's only, he's supporting Obama because Obama is the only man that can bring our country together and he's not a racist. Said so there's an element of the Republican Party that are racist and, and that, you know, and that, the, you know, and then the other guy, the great interview that he did with Dave Croft on C, and, you know, is, you know, over there, basically the Republicans are just collapsing, which is, you know, they're not. Basically all they've done is piss off Republicans. Mm. You want to unify the Republican Party, do that because, you have 47 people in the House of Representatives all been told they're going to have their butts kicked out if they don't start towing the party line. And New Breed's debut on Westminster's red carpet. <clears throat> I know. They, they basically, okay, it just proves that what happens in Las Vegas doesn't stay in Las Vegas. Flee, flee Obama. <laughs> Obama, I'll introduce my own immigration bill if Congress doesn't move. I mean, first of all, uh oh, you know what? Lee Obama said that's what the president's supposed to be doing, not doing what he's been doing, which is letting Pelosi and Reid do things. Nothing has been accomplished except his ramming a health care bill through, which will eventually be declared unconstitutional because they didn't have enough votes to legally do it. They did it with a 50 plus 1, remember? They, um. You got no Republican votes and they didn't have enough votes to stop a filibuster, but they did it anyway, which means it's always been illegal. Mm-hmm. And Super Bowl cheerleader banned from the Super Bowl. She was two pounds too heavy. I know. Oh, well, they probably figured that, you know, there was too much of her showing in some areas. Well, you know, I know that sounds funny, but even wrestlers, they have weigh-ins. I know. They, they, the problem is, is that um, I was there a couple of times. Was Christine Kraft and Roger Rocca were two people that basically fought against their TV stations for firing them. Rocca basically, they wanted him to wear a toupee he didn't want to, and Christine Kraft wanted, they wanted her to look prettier. She ended up, I think she ended up posing nude for magazines, <laughs> and Rocca ended up running, a, a, he became an actor. And guess what he had to do as an actor? Wear a toupee. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that they were against, they had to do to earn a living. Mm-hmm. Conservative Hispanic group tells GOP to avoid the amnesty label. I'll hate to tell you this, but... It's called amnesty. They're giving the okay. Here's what one of them. I heard one of the guys, that one of the conservative Republican types. He, you know, he said, uh, he said, do you understand what the word illegal means? And he said, well, that's not what you're talking about. He said, do you understand what the word illegal means? He said, that's not what we're here to talk. We're here about talking. Don't use the word amnesty. And he said, do you understand what the word amnesty means? And he said, yes. And he said, and he said it means giving people that don't know the word illegal free pass for not knowing the word illegal. Mm -hmm. That pissed them off. They're here. I mean, here's one, Obama, people, I mean, you're having to have people that basically have more brains than most Republicans that are elected to explain to them that they wouldn't be supporting something, bipartisan support, unless they thought they were going to have the upper hand. The upper hand is, you go to the bottom of their page, their page, the top page says, they have to go to the back of the line. The bottom of the page and the little tiny print that no one reads except for lawyers, and uh, even lawyers don't read it, says that we feel that those people that were brought here by their parents and those people that have worked hard to build a, a, build a strong working relationship in this country should be at the head of the line, mm -hmm. which automatically uh, means they get a free pass with the people. I mean, okay, put it this way. My father came to the country legally. My grandmother came to this country legally. So what if my one side of my family is all Indians? The people that came here did it by the books. And mm -hmm. they it, it, it said that uh, if you know that Congress is going to give you a free pass for breaking the laws, mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell, okay, 
Would you want somebody that took the amnesty program for the Democratic Party in your party? No, it's because they're all, they, they came here breaking the law and you cannot, uh, what was it, my, I remember uh, I was listening to one of the lectures that one of the, I guess, uh, uh, one of the older chiefs of police was giving and he said that, uh, he said, we cannot have people on our department that do not know the difference between obeying the law and breaking the law. He said, I will not allow anyone in this police department to hold a job that can't tell you the definition. Because they had a lot of officers that basically came back from World War II and were uh, MPs who simply did things their way. They didn't, he did not, was it Chief Redding, he did not want those people in his department and made an effort to get them out of the department. Florida woman frightens off intruder by chanting, Jesus. I know, I thought she was nuts. <laughs> I think that's it, great. It, actually, it's, it, in reality, it's how one, it's how one of my great-great-grandfathers, a Hessian soldier, met his, first, met his wife, who was an American Indian. They, he, they frightened off the intruder by yeah, no, He acted like a, he uh, basically started work, you know, praying to God and basically, you know, got in, you know, and... and uh, and he, he took all his clothes off in the middle of the snow and started, God is here around us. He started doing that, and they thought he was nuts. Uh, he ended up marrying the young, the young lady, you know, you know and, and going back to Germany alive with her. So that's, that's how we got our first aid. For, uh, okay, we'll put it this way. In my family, American Indians were, to my German family, like Asians are to other people's family. <laughs> They thought they were exotic. They'd marry him, take him back to Germany, and then get everybody pissed off at him. And push for Hegel. No leading from behind from the White House. Uh, well, yeah. The problem is Hegel's all of a sudden, he's anti, um, he's anti-extremist. He's anti-terrorist. He's anti-Iran. And he loves Israel. He hates Israel. He loves terrorists. And he loves Iran. Uh -huh. And he can't, they said it doesn't make a difference. They said one senator is going to stop it. He said, we didn't get, we didn't get anything from Hillary Clinton, but what does it matter now? Mm -hmm. He said, we're going to, there'll be no, nom we'll have no Secretary of Defense until somebody comes up here and tells us what's going on on Benghazi. And no alarm, only one exit in Brazil nightclub fire. Well, that's basically how it is. I mean, um, I know, for instance, there's an H&R block that does massive amount of business where the cars park behind the, there's one door in and one door out, they park in front of the door in the back, which makes it virtually impossible for anybody to do anything, so they also lock the door, so, but this, um, and this is a place we're going to hold the Olympic Games, Brazil, I would not want to hold a game in Brazil, everything that you can think is a beautiful place to go, the infrastructure is, sucks, you can't get around in Brazil, Brazil, and it sort of reminds you of going on a side street in Mexico City. You don't want to do it. Yesterday's media day for the Super Bowl open to the fans. I know, which means that, 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 that okay. The well, they only get to watch from the stands, but they get to see what's going on. I know, but it's still mostly hype because... Um, have Super you seen much? Have you seen much from the Super Bowl for Media Day? No, <laughs> I haven't. We're media folks. We're not getting okay. We have to <laughs> dig to find any information on the Super Bowl. You know the information we're getting on the Super Bowl? It's about the commercials that are too naughty to be seen. Oh, actually, we should do something like the top five commercials that will never ever be seen on the Super Bowl. So. Yep. <laughs> well, GoDaddy makes commercials. They know they do. The top five banned commercials. Yeah. Um, pizza chain makes special delivery for soldier in Afghanistan. Yeah, I, I always think I, I I hate the PR stuff that people give. I I prefer it, like you got people like Gary Sinise that just goes over and performs. You had uh, lots of people. In the well, what's special about this delivery? No, it's just they're making. Uh, they're just they're just be done for public. You know, it's done for advertising purposes. It's not done to actually. I mean, they could have cared. Less. You just pick somebody out and do something and make it look good for a company. That's not what it's supposed to be, folks. Oh, is that like George Clooney paying the bill for somebody else in the restaurant? Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, they said that basically that had more to do with a customer being unhappy with Clooney and his entourage. They said that uh, he kept people waiting for their food while he was getting service. Oh. And there was sort of a groundswell. Uh, somebody, let's go take Clooney out and tar and feather him. Uh -huh. They didn't say Clooney, but they basically said the guy with the, you know, this balding guy with the beard. They were very unhappy 
that uh, he monopolized the restaurant where there were other people in. They weren't getting service he was, so he get, so he really did. You know, he stiffed a whole pl home room, a whole restaurant full of people and paid a bill for one person, which is probably the most vocal person. Probably uh, some guy. Yeah, but here's it part back. of it is it's like it's the restaurant that chose to act like that, unless he was tr like he was throwing his weight around. Oh, he was throwing his weight yeah. around. Uh, That's what they said. Oh, well, no wonder why. <laughs> yeah, he, was being, he was being as obnoxious. He can really, he can be the most charming guy on earth, and he can be the most obnoxious person. We've seen both sides of him. Animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this is from today. Um, always make certain you have everything backed up because you can lose everything you have due to somebody else's error. <laughs>